What's going on YouTube? It's the God Achilles here. I'm bringing you some more AW gameplay here today. And uh, this is on the new map pack, uh, Havoc. I know it's not exactly like, uh, it still is the new map pack, but I know it's um, it's been out for a little bit now. Haven't really been posting uh, gameplays, but I thought I'd bring this one to you just because uh, Sideshow is definitely my favorite map out of it. I like to call it AJ's map because you know my friend AJ, he's a clown. And this map is just based around clowns. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, it's going to be a live comp. And it's going to be uh, kind of my thoughts on skill-based matchmaking in Advanced Warfare. Uh, I'm going to go with the HBR. So, for what you guys don't... So, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. If you guys don't know what skill-based matchmaking is in Advanced Warfare, this dude's already pushing up. What a maniac. Um, but okay, so skill-based matchmaking is it takes your stats um, that you have and it uh, puts you against players around your skill level. So you know, you know, it could be a really good thing. You know, they tried something different. You know, it could be could turn out to be a really, really good thing. But in my opinion, it for me it didn't. Because, you know, for a YouTuber, when you play against a bunch of scrubs, it's real easy to get gameplays for your YouTube channel. And, you know, not saying that I can't do it. Like, because I'm usually smarter than most of the people that I play against. So I can outthink them. But it just makes me try so much harder. You know, I kind of like that in a sense. I kind of like having to try to get my gameplays so you guys know that, you know... I'm actually still, you know, I'm still good at Call of Duty, but it also makes it to where when I just want to play casually, I'm not able to because, you know, I always feel like I have to try really hard if I want to do good. Like, you know, I guess, I guess you guys could argue, you know, if you don't want to try, then just don't try, you know, but then it's going to make my KD go down and I just, I like my KD where it's at, you know, but Usually if I'm just trying to chill, I'll like play against my friends and all that. We'll screw around in like a private match or something. Something like, something along those lines. But to go, oh crap. Aw, oh, dude, he's got the wanted perk. Not an actual perk, guys. Not an actual perk. Something I came up with. You know, it feels like he curves bullets around walls. But, back to the topic of skill-based matchmaking. So, if, for what you guys don't know, I kind of already explained, I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth. So, I'm pretty sure it bases uh, players that you play with off your, like, score per minute and your KD and your win-loss. I'm not too sure about the last one there, your win-loss. Oh, my gosh. But, I'm pretty sure it does go off your KD, your score per minute, and all that good stuff. Oh, this guy's in freaking AJ's room. But I'm pretty sure it goes off those, t at least those three, your win loss, your score permit, and your KD. And it, it'll put players, like you'll be playing against players that are similar in your skill level. And I don't know how I'm not getting hit markers on these guys when my reticle is directly on them, but that's cool. Freaking sentry gun in the back. Nice. But... So, when it does that, when it searches for games for you, it'll put players that are similar in your skill range. So, you know, it does kind of always keep you on your toes. But sometimes you don't always want to be on your toes. Sometimes you're just playing casually and you don't want to have to try. You know what I mean? So, with the skill-based matchmaking, it's a good thing if you're, you know, playing for the day and you want to get your shot on and stuff like that. But it's bad in the sense that if you're not actually, like, trying or you're just trying to play casually. Oh, I just got fucking destroyed. Then, uh, you really do have to, like, try, I guess. Oh, my gosh. The freaking aim assist is fucking me right now. And now these spawns are complete dog poop. I just need to flip the damn spawns and we'll be okay. Okay, get that guy out of here. Got you, finally. Get out of here. 
Uh, so, with the skill-based management, like, I know Sledgehammer, they were trying to change things. They were trying to tr change how we played Call of Duty. And they did. They really did. Like, these exosuits change how you have to play so much. Dude, this guy with the sniper is just a fucking boss, apparently. He is just destroying me. No shotgun for you. But when I don't want to try and I just want to... How does this kill me? I want to see this. I just want to watch this. I'm in the house. How is... That's... That still isn't near me. How does... I'm so confused right now. So we got people top restroom. No, oh, I just saw a guy. He's going to be... No, that's a freaking piece of paper. No, but like... When I don't want to try, I don't want to try. And I just want to play casually with my buds. You know, I don't want to have to try my nuts off. You know what I mean? I know you guys are probably thinking the exact same thing, you know? If you don't want to try, you know, you don't want to try. Everybody has those days in Call of Duty where they don't want to try. Hey, bud, you might have killed me there, but it's okay. I still killed you. Well, that's kind of... Uh, I'll give you guys another rundown of what, you know, because I don't know if I explained it really thoroughly... This guy got an awesome kill on me. I just don't understand how, if it's all the way down there, it's already killed me. But, so, even though I lost this game, we lo I lost once again because of my teammates. I freaking dropped 21 kills. So, besi that's besides the point. You know, you guys know that I call myself Achilles for a reason. Look at me, top of the scoreboard. Who's the best in the game? No, I'm just kidding. But, just to give you guys a little bit more of a rundown, skill-based matchmaking. Matchmaking. It is a matchmaking setting that will put players in your skill range. It's kind of like ranked play in pubs matches. So, you know, you know how you have rankings like diamond, you have like bronze, uh, silver, gold, platinum, and then like diamond. And then you have like master and all that. It's kind of like that, but it, you're not in a division. It bases it off your stats. So... I'm going, for for me here, I'm going to get players that have right around a 1.5 KD, uh, right around 253 score per minute, and right around a 117 win-loss ratio. I guess it's kind of to make it to where you don't always get noob lobbies, but it kind of does, you know, make you try a lot harder in-game to try to win. You know, I don't mind trying to win, but when I want to play casual, I just want to play casual. You know, everyone wakes up the one day and you're just like, I don't feel like trying today. I just want to play Call of Duty casual. You almost can't do that in this game. You almost have to try. So, uh, bases it off your stats. So, you always will get people that are around your stat range, like your skill range. It, uh... It makes you try a lot harder in game. I know I'm probably repeating myself, but this is kind of the rundown. It makes you try harder in game because of the players that you're playing against. They're around your skill level, so it really does make you uh, really does make you think. And in my opinion, it would make you a better player, considering you're always playing against uh, players around your skill range. So if you get better than the people in your skill range, you'll get up to higher people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Kind of like ranked play. So if I can. Re re if I can, you know, put this into just like a like a similar like folder, I'm just gonna call it. It would be like ranked play without your rank. You know, it would be like playing ranked play without the rank play. So you know, and just base it all off your stats and all that. But that's gonna do it uh, for the video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching Sideshow. That is like the best map I have. I don't know what it is about Sideshow, but on like, when I use the HBR on Sideshow, I just freaking, I'm just good. I don't know. But it always gives me the bad teammates. T Call of Duty still does that. So, uh, this YouTube, this was the God Achilles bringing you my thoughts on skill-based match matchmaking. What skill matchmaking is, well, skill-based matchmaking, if you don't know what it is. Um, why it influence you as a player, because it'll, it'll, like, make you a smarter player. Because you have to keep constantly thinking out thinking players that are your skill level so it'll eventually make you a better player but if you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to like favorite comment and subscribe be sure to follow me on twitter at gauge underscore achilles it'll be down in the description below youtube this was a god achilles bringing you another advanced warfare live com i'm out peace